below gorgeous. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be wearing this look for New Year's Eve. I'm actually kind of thinking about it. This was just from a night out that I had um, some extra time to get ready. So I decided to film myself doing my makeup. I thought this would be a really nice look for New Year's Eve. So here's the story. I self tanned earlier that day so my body is much darker than my face and I wanted everything to match up so this is going to look a little bit crazy at first but I promise it'll all come together at the end. I took a darker foundation. This one is Estee Lauder's Double Wear. It lasts a really long time on the skin and I'm applying that using a damp beauty blender sponge and I'm pouncing that over my face. A lot of the times people make the mistake with sponges where they um, you know, swipe them over the skin. That's just gonna absorb makeup. You wanna press it into the skin. So just pounce it and using a damp sponge is really gonna help the sponge not soak up so much makeup either. Um, I needed a little bit of lip balm so I picked up this NYX Butter Lip Balm and let that soak in and hydrate my lips while I finish up the rest of my makeup. I've done the tutorial on how to get super smooth kissable lips. I'll link that in the description box below in case you're interested since I know that's kind of important on New Year's Eve. I'm just making sure that any blemishes and imperfections are concealed before I move on to the eyes. Now I'm priming my lids with an eyeshadow primer just to keep my eyeshadows from creasing. This is a really necessary step if you have oily eyelids. What's the point of putting on makeup if it's just going to slide off and look bad in an hour or two, right? So I'm filling in my brows with Anastasia's Brow Powder. I'm using a really small eyeshadow brush. I'm going for a very soft eyebrow look. I don't, my, I don't like my brows to look too perfect or too overdone. That's really not my thing. Um, I'm working with eyeshadows in this matte palette by Tarte. It's called the Tartelette palette. I'm so excited to play with this because I love matte eyeshadows. They're just my favorite in the whole entire world. So I'm starting with a fluffy shadow brush and I'm using these pinky mauve shades and I'm working those into the outer half of the lids and up into the crease. And then with a denser brush, I'm packing on this light vanilla shade and patting that onto the inner half just to really brighten up the inner parts of the eyes and add a nice highlight. I even threw some underneath the high points of my brows and then I picked up that fluffy brush and just blended some more. You can't ever over blend an eyeshadow, I don't think. I did want to add some sparkle for this look, which is why I think it's perfect also for New Year's Eve. I started by pressing on this Kaylin Loose Mineral Eye Dust in Orchid over the inner half of the lids. It comes with its own little applicator, which is really handy for placing the shadow where you want it, and then I just pat it in with my fingers. Taking the pencil brush side of this double-ended crown brush, I'm taking some of this black eyeshadow and I'm using this to create a soft smoky wing at the outer corners of the eyes. I'm then using the fluffier side to blur that even further and just help connect it with the socket. It's almost as if we've intensified that outer V of the eyes. It's a night look so we can handle going with a little bit of extra smoke, right? <laughs> And we can also handle a little bit more sparkle. So I'm using a loose shimmer from Sigma. This is called Gilded. Putting that over that lighter portion just to add an extra layer of glimmer. Because why not? It's New Year's Eve. And I added a bit more black over the lash line just to intensify the drama some more. Because sometimes you can lose that when you're adding extra sparkle and shimmer. But before I finish the eyes, I'm going to finish the face. I like to take a light concealer to highlight underneath the eyes, the tops of the cheeks. Just the center of the face in general, I like to you know, highlight the tip of the nose. Um, and this is a really helpful technique for when your foundation is a tad too dark for you. This is what I'm doing, I'm adding a little bit underneath the hollows of my cheeks, just kind of as a reverse contour. This is just going to lighten the areas opposite of where you would want to add depth, so that way the foundation acts as your contour shade. Is that making sense? I hope so. Just follow this. <laughs> And see, we're looking better already. It looks a little bit more natural, realistic, believable. And I'm setting that in with some translucent powder and then I'm picking up some bronzer onto a small face brush. This is a matte bronzer and I'm just bumping up the areas that I want to add some extra depth but also bring in some warmth overall. Just to kind of blend those um, highlight shades even further into the rest of the foundation. And then I took a tiny bit of this matte gray eyeshadow and I applied it into the hollows of the cheeks just to add a touch of coolness, kind of like how a natural shadow would look. Since we have bronzer on already, it won't look too scary. The trick is to just not use too much, but it definitely makes a bigger difference, I feel, than using a darker bronzer or something like that. A little bit of brush blush <laughs> on the apples of the cheeks, and we can go back to finishing up the eyes. So here, all I'm doing is lining my eyes using a black gel liner and a really teeny tiny little eyeliner brush. 
I like to create a point at the inner corners because it lengthens the look of the eye even further. But feel free to do whatever you feel more comfortable with, whatever you feel most confident in. All I'm doing is just lining the inner corners and then creating a wing at the outer corners. I'm not connecting the two parts in the middle like you would normally do. I was so happy to see that the Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes Mascara is in the December Ipsy Glam Bag. If you've been watching my tutorials, you know I use this mascara in almost every single one for the past, like, I, I don't even know, maybe a year. Um, I just love how black it is, and the formula is supposed to be good for your lashes. And then for the under shadow, okay, so I don't have bags underneath my eyes, but I love the look of a little bit of puffiness under there. Under there. I know this sounds really strange, but think about Angelina Jolie or even young children. It doesn't necessarily have to mean old age. It can be kind of a sweet looking thing. So I'm tracing along where I feel my eyeball curve. <laughs> I can't explain it any better than that. And I'm using a clean brush just to blend and soften that line out. If you don't like this, you can just go along your natural lash line like normal, but let me experiment, okay? <laughs> and then I'm using this bronze smooth shadow pencil by Elizabeth Mott to line my waterline before I apply mascara to my bottom lashes. And then of course, I throw on some falsies. These are by Social Eyes. They're in Minx. I'm obsessed with these lashes. They're perfect for a night out. I got so, so many compliments on them. It's ridiculous. Um, and really that's all there is for the eyes. The eyes are done. So I'm using a little bit of this brightening shadow by Sigma in Ray of Light. It's that yellowy color. I'm using that around the eyes. It just adds something extra and I feel like it helps my concealer set in place a bit better, but it just really helps to brighten everything up even further. And for the lips, I use Milani's Lip Pencil in Nude. I like to use lip pencils in colors that are close to my natural lip color, so that way I can really make the shape how I want it to be. And then I went on the top of all of that with Gerard Cosmetics Lipstick in 1995. It's kind of this brownie nude mauve kind of color. I'm really liking that in place of just basic skin tone nudes these days. And it's also, it's re really trendy and even though I don't like trends, it's one that I like. <laughs> I had already styled my hair before filming. I used this Bumble and Bumble All Style Blow Dry on really damp hair before blow drying and smoothing everything out. And then I curled it how I normally do with a one and a half inch barrel iron just for some loose waves. They'll fall even better throughout the night. Just don't want anything that's too perfect looking. And that's the finished look. I'll post details to my outfit and all of that in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy New Year. And as always, I look forward to talking to you again very, very soon. Bye.